Hey everyone, it's Crisis Killer. Welcome back to Evolution Gaming. As we are uh, all open up our current Christmas presents and stuff, I just kind of want to go over a few things. Obviously, uh, people like to get technology, so you might be opening up your new console, your new phone, um, but some people might be opening up like tablets or computers. So, well, this here is the Dell Venue 8 inch. Uh, Android tablet. I got the Sunline for $180 when I bought it. Um, and my wife liked it so much that, uh, oops. I probably shouldn't touch the screen when I'm doing recording. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my wife liked it so much that she wanted me to get her one too, but I figured I'd just do a quick review on it and actually compare this one. I mean, it's comparing this one to the other ones on the market. It's actually, um, a pretty nice uh, tablet for for the price for 180 190 dollars um, that's how much it costs and comparing this to other Android tablets or other tablets of its size it's actually I would say one of the best for its price um, what it is is the uh, Dell venue 8 8 inch tablet there is a 7 inch version of this um, I think they have a 16 gig model and that runs for about 120. This is the 32 gig model. There's a 16 gig model of this that runs for about 170, I think. And then this is the 32 gig model. So 32 gigs of storage internally with expandable memory. I think up to, uh, I think you can go up to 32 or 64. I think, yeah, 32 gigs internal. I think another 32, uh, micro SD card. I think it's a, it's compatible with. Um, it's got the, uh, Intel Atom processor, the Z2580. It's got the one meg, uh, cache and the two gigahertz dual core processor. Two gigabytes of uh, RAM, uh, which is pretty high compared to a lot of other tablets in the market. A lot of them are just on one, uh, one gig on RAM, but this actually has two gigs of RAM. That dual core two gigahertz processor, which is really fast for, uh, gaming and other uh, applications. And the 32 gigs of internal storage. Uh, it's also got the integrated Intel uh, HD graphics card, uh, which is actually really nice. It, I played other uh, other games on here. It's actually very fluent on uh, how well it performs. Uh, the software out of the box, it comes with Android 4.2. Um, I think mine currently is up to uh, 4.3. I got an update a couple days ago. Uh, I've had this now for a few days, a, kind of a Christmas present to myself, and then I Showed it to my wife, figured out, oh, see if she likes it or not, and she actually did, so I had to get her one too. So, it's also got the wireless N and Bluetooth, so you can connect to your uh, Wi-Fi at home or on the go. And then Bluetooth, uh, you can connect uh, Bluetooth keyboards or headsets, um, or even your phone to share files back and forth. The micro SD uh, card reader, so you can expand your memory, uh, or transfer files, or even uh, rooting the device too, if you're into that. Uh, it's got the 5 megapixel uh, camera on the back and then the 2 megapixel camera on the front. Not the greatest for that, but it's a tablet. What else do you expect? You're not really going to, you know, run around with your tablet taking a bunch of pictures. Now, get yourself a decent camera or use your phone. Um, most phones now are a lot better than this anyways. So, um, 15 and a half uh, watts, uh, watt hour battery. I mean, 15 and a half hours is a lot for a tablet. And that's, you know, on probably light use. I think mine, when I play it heavily, I'm getting about six to eight. Um, of course, I could probably shut off a bunch of background tasks and stuff. But yeah, it's it does really well. I mean, six to eight hours, I mean, on a tablet, on heavy usage, is still quite a bit. Um, and then, like the thickness of it, it's 0 0.38 inches. And then the weight, it's 0 0.82 pounds. So very light, very thin. You see here, that's how thin it is. It's very light. Um, the seven-inch version is a little easier to hold in your hand. This one you can hold, but it's not exactly something you just quickly grab. You get really have a good firm grip on it. Um, it's got the uh, micro micro SD slot right here underneath this little um, this little plastic tray you can pull out. You get the power button and the uh, unlock screen there. The uh, headphone jack. I think the top, yeah, that's the mic. There's the camera in the back. 
and then the camera on the front and that's pretty much it there is nothing else oh yeah sorry forgot this the power is up here in the top i mean i suppose it depends on how you want to hold it but there's the micro usb uh, jack and then the volume up and down um you can also there's an adapter for this micro usb to usb so you could te technically uh, load uh, from your camera or your phone files to and from that way or you can also use the micro usb cable to connect to your computer to transfer files or to even charge it either from your computer or a usb port on the charge it comes with um, it comes just with the uh, regular usb cable and charger and a simple instruction manual but nothing fancy um, pretty much you power it on go through the basic setup and once you get done with all that, you're going to get a screen like this. Um, I'm going to go over here. The, I'm going to go over the tablet. The uh, yeah, 4.2.2, I guess, was the update. I went from 4.2.1, I think, to 4.2.2. There is currently, I've not seen any uh, custom ROMs for this online. I, do, I don't mind myself doing uh, routing just to kind of help clean up the uh, device and make it run better but that's pretty much it. It's a venue 8 3830 model and take a look at the home screen so obviously you can put whatever apps you want on here um, a few games I like to play um, I'll get to a few of those in a minute here uh, other variety of tools and stuff I put on this screen and a few other shopping and other sort of configuration apps um go to your total laps list and it's very fluent there is no lag it's very quick very fast and there's no lag at all and obviously that's the visual stuff i use a special launcher um so i can cycle through all my uh, screens and, and there's a custom one built into android but nothing uh nothing fancy but uh, I wanted to show you guys um, one of the main things, the reason why I bought this was, you know, I have a Windows phone, so I'm kind of limited on apps. So I wanted something that was Android-based. I can play other Android-based games. But then one of them I found out was actually pretty fun um, was the Battlefield 4 Commander and then the Battle Log uh, app. And then with that, you know, you can play other games like Angry Birds, uh, Cut the Rope. Um, uh, one of my classic favorites when I had an Android phone uh, a few years ago, Alchemy, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. You know, you can play all these games and they don't lag at all. I mean, I play, you know, all these games and I'd, I'm flying through them like crazy. I don't have any problems, you know. It's got Wi-Fi, it's really fast to download. Um, yeah, even when I play the, uh, Commander game, it's actually not a bad old game, but I'll show you that here right now. We'll launch this. So this game loads in. It has to log into the, uh, the actual servers, so it's not like something you just launch. It's not a simple game, but you have to be on the internet for this game. Uh, you can just hit play commander which will launch you straight into a game that has a commander slot open but you get different game types so maybe you want to find um, a certain specific game so if you hit uh, server browser it'll launch the battle log app you have to have both of these installed it'll prompt you to install if you don't have it this takes you to the main home page of battle log it's just like on pc it has your overview and stats of the uh, of your campaign and multiplayer um, you can tap up here in the corner you can choose from here a home, a home multiplayer campaign missions, and you can go through all these different settings. But to find other servers, click on multiplayer, and it takes you down here. And you can uh, do your filters here, a little drop down menu, and you can choose uh, all the different maps. I have um, premium, so I'm going to get all the maps. Plus, I have China Rising. Uh, China Rising and premium you'll get all the extra maps later 
you can only play commander in certain game modes so it pulls off your pc settings too what you choose as your primary games but conquest conquest large obliteration i think that's the only ones that could play um play that on but you can come down here to your server list sorry here about the uh, glare of the light um you know i can just click on a game and if there's a commander slot open it'll be available to select here so like this one here there is one this one here there isn't so i would select that one i would select commander and i would launch into that and i'll go over that next time uh the next video i'm gonna go over the commander mode i'm gonna compare compare the android tablet here versus the pc commander and i'll show you the differences probably ain't gonna see much i don't know if there is i never played on pc but I played on the tablet here enough and I know pretty much what I'm doing, but yeah, we'll go over that next time. Um, yeah, this is the Dell Venue 8 tablet. There is also a Dell Venue 8 Pro, which is the Windows 8 Pro, uh, Windows 8 RT uh, tablet. And comparing the hardware specs on this, how that would run on that, I would say it's going to be phenomenal. It's not going to have any problems. Uh, Windows RT is actually a pretty decent OS for most tablets and even some of the other uh, Windows 8 RT tablets out there this this is actually comparably a lot better specs than other ones that of this size and this price range um, if you're an Apple fan obviously there's a big difference in price I mean the what app the iPad mini was seven or eight inch screen that's still 300 and what 50 bucks I mean this is like almost half so and it's still comparable it can do all the same thing android has a lot of apps so does uh apple and then windows tablets they have their own set of apps so it's kind of uh what you see uh, for your personal preference but yeah yeah that's my review on the uh, dell venue 8 tablet like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys later thanks for watching